Here they come. to this uh, our latest video. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some eider duck hunting. Uh, this is the first time we filmed duck hunting and we learned from our, our first time out there, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, there's a lot of wobbly camera shots, there's a lot of loud wind, uh, there's some blurriness. Be sure to click the, or punch the like button. Actually, just go ahead and press a thumbs up now. You're gonna love this video, I guarantee. We're ready for action. Coming into the decoys, coming into the decoys. They're not shooting her. They're not shooting it against a female. There's one in the decoys. I don't know what we're, am I focused on it? There he is. Oh, that male? We're just swimming around. There's Barry and Dad in their pit blind. There's some de ducks just sitting on the water. Coming, there's two males in the front. Two males in the front. Two males in the front. Here they come. There's some straight at us. Straight at us. There's some males. There's more. Get, get. Nothing out of all that. Yeah, let's have an explanation of what happened on that. Um, were they too close? <laughs> Sometimes are they too close? You know what I think my problem is? What? I need to go home and go back to bed. <laughs> I, I'm just wasting ammunition. This is unbelievable. He's just having fun with the thunder stick. Yeah. You got this one, Barry. I'm on you. Oh! Did you get him, Barry? Right there. <laughs> Was it you, though, or Dad? No, I didn't shoot. Um, one little explanation for you guys. You'll hear us talking in the, in the video about there's a, the males and the females. Uh, Massachusetts law says you can shoot four eider ducks a day, but only three of them are males and one of them female. So because you see in the video how tight the flocks and the ducks are, we always try to shoot our males first, just in case you accidentally shoot a female. Um, if you shoot your female first, then you just got to wait for solo, super safe males and it's uh, very difficult. So that's the reason we're so concentrated on the males, you'll see that. Two males, two males. Here come some males. All right, Barry, I'm on you. Here they come. Get them. Oh, there was some action. Barry shot three, and then this guy climbed up and is their friend now. And they're all sunbathing. I think that's a trying to get a tan. Oh, safety, safety. I don't know. It's a female. Get him! Shoot! Oh, nice. Okay, there's gonna maybe be some behind us. Get ready. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Those guys right there. This one right here. Here, these two. Again. Nope. Up what? above. Right there. Right there. Right there. No. 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 I got him. Go get him. Still a nice bird. So I realize in this clip right here, you see a lot of boots and butts in the back of our heads. This is my son Ethan's first duck ever, uh, right on the wing, and uh, we're really proud of him. And we managed to catch it right here. This was male. Second to the last one. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, you had them female. <laughs> got three. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at He's absolutely surrounded. Shoot him! Yeah! <laughs> we found a hibachi some guy left out here under that tote. They leave their hibachi. These two chairs. See the chairs? So someone must have summer picnicked with it. We saw Ethan found it yesterday while he was going to the bathroom. So, 
We came back here today and we brought some stuff and we're having hot dogs, a little shore lunch. Andy point. just came out and he, what did you shoot Andy? You shot four ducks in like a minute and a half. We had to wait for him to show up. Dad's, I don't know, Dad's walking around making just... <laughs> <laughs> Everything I shot swam away. Yeah, so I shot one, it hit the water, dove down. I don't know if you can see this, here comes a, a flight. Oh my word. Look at him. Right here. Boo -boo. Yeah, I was a spot yesterday. Alright. Sun's about to go down in a little while, but Dad's gonna be getting the last bird of the day. Ethan, what you got going on? I'm cooking um, eider that we shot today. I cleaned it, and that one burnt great. Quickly, flip them. See, I told you, did you cut the heat back yet? I'm almost done. And there we go, everyone flipped over. Even that guy looked a little light, but he's there. So I'm going in the fridge. These are two not very secret ingredients, but it's soy sauce and any kind of jelly. You don't want like a tart jelly, but you kind of want a sweet jelly to add with the, I don't know why I have less sodium, but that's what I could find right now. This, so this is like a sweet and a salty sauce. Got a spoon, little dish, and I'm gonna go like this. So I just put five scoops of jam, which like that size spoon would be, out of five scoops, that much soy sauce. And maybe a little more, more. Actually, that's perfect. That's what I want, you want it to turn into? Um, start it for 30 seconds. What about my sauce? Make your own. Oh, I can make my own. But so that's it, just <clears throat> some jam and some soy sauce. So you burn this a little bit, huh? But let's see, try it out. It's still good. But I'm gonna take a little piece. I'm gonna move the spoon to the side and I'm just gonna do this really quick. How is it? Is it good? <laughs> it's great. All right. And have a nice day, and bye.